YouTube. Hello, yes. Part two. And definitely finale of Stacking. The delightful, charming little puzzle game. We conquered the Zeppelin. Child labor is now illegal. Hooray, hooray. But that fiendish and sneaky Baron, he's taken our brother, I think, at this point. It's a brother left. And escaped on his triple-decker tank. Whatever that means. Uh, he's taken it to international territory or uncharted waters or something like that. So that child labor is still technically illegal. And we have to get the trains moving. Oh, wow, this is like a big last carriage. Jeez. I'm alive? Of course I'm alive. It is snowing, finally, so got some snow, but otherwise, no reason I wouldn't be alive. How do we get the trains running? Why are they stopped? Until the clock is wound, we cannot synchronize our schedule and no trains will depart. Son of a bitch! Well said. We have to wind the damn clock? Alright, well. So it goes, am I right? So it goes. First things first, I want to... Because I was looking into some hijinks. I pulled up a guide for it. You saw snow too? Hell yeah, let's go. I want to knock out a couple real quick. I'm not going to do every hijink on stream, obviously. But, you know, some easy ones I want to knock out. First of all, if I talk to you... Yeah, just talk in the bathroom. It's quite inappropriate for you to be in here, sir. Well, I beg your pardon, madam. It would appear, sir, you have me at a disadvantage. <laughs> just chat with people in the bathroom. Anyway, the other one, since I'm in the area... Uh, something about uninvited uppercuts. I go into the lounge and just start decking people. Yep. <laughs> hi -ya! Hi -ya! A little bit of this for you. And uh, what's this? You want some of this too? Hi -ya! There we go. Classic stuff. All right, now let's focus on this clock. Those are the two I remember looking up. If I looked at the actual hijink list, I could probably remember more, but that's not why we're here. Although, why do I know? Maybe, uh... Maybe the guy with the boxing glove can help wind the clock. He's a big dude. He's got an uppercut. Maybe I uppercut a crank or something. Let's analyze the situation. Righto. Where even is this clock? Hmm. Oh, well, here's some. Let's check in here first. This could be the, um... Uh, they won't let me in. This could be the shortcut, uh... From where... Levi's thing is? Door override. Open winding doors. What have we here? Oh, we've got the... Oh! Hey, look at that. We're out in the plaza. But we need the, uh, what is that? The manual winder. Oh, well, this is... This is self-explanatory, isn't it? I was working today. I didn't work today. I was, uh... Oh, my notifications off? That's lame. I saw Jeppo... Or no, that's just a watch streak. That wouldn't be a notification. Uh, it's a government holiday, so I didn't work today. We're we finishing today? We are finishing today. I need one of the, the guys that does a, pr a proper handshake. Who the fuck is that? Oh. Yeah, one of the birds. Why not join Ellie on stream? Because I was dead fucking tired. I don't know what it was. I didn't sleep well at all last night. So, yeah. I was an Eevee man. I guess it's not that I didn't sleep well. It's just I kept waking up was the problem. And having to, like, adjust myself. I don't know. It was a whole thing. You're halfway there? Oh, do another game recommendation? Gold glove slap. Where is the handshake guy? He's like, uh... It's like a dude in red. Or it might be like this guy? No, you're the rancid belch guy. But yeah, last, like I said, I just couldn't get comfortable last night trying to sleep. Miserable. Not miserable, but you know, you, you know what I mean. You hate when that happens. Here's this guy. A firm handshake. 
Let us shake the man who will wind her. Hello, sir. Easy enough. Our watches are synchronized, the schedule's restored, and the trains are back in service. Hurrah! Well, good for them. All right, a gentleman's solution. All right, the... Yeah, okay, there's definitely something up there. We, there's, like, birds and... Uh, uh, balloon kids. Yeah, these guys. So, definitely something to do with flying in this area. Child labor abolished. Abolished, you say? Wait, it was you, wasn't it? You're all the world's smallest child. I can't believe you helped save the Zeppelin. Way to go, kid. Wow. Nice to get some fucking recognition. You, sir, have a paper. World's smallest child helps land Zeppelin safely. Am I really the world's smallest child? I'd be closer to fly to a nest. I don't know where a nest is. I can just mash A wandering around, hoping I can accidentally stumble into a nest. You suggest Wind Waker? Didn't I play that already? I need to make coffee for that reason. I did have coffee. That helped a bit, but... Had an energy drink, but nah. It was like that real tired where, like, your eye is twitching. It was a whole thing. God damn it, I fell off! <laughs> no! Ah, uh, God, I was right there, too. Damn it. Yeah, I already streamed Wind Waker back in the day. I've streamed of the Zelda games. I have streamed uh, Wind Waker and uh, Twilight Princess. I need an updraft. I can see there's an updraft there, but I don't know how to get up there is the problem. Where would the updraft be? Majora's Mask? Uh, the game is not aged gracefully. Graphically, I mean. I also... Honestly, that one could be fun. Majora's Mask could be fun. Yeah, I'd be willing to play Majora's Mask. Listen, that one's mostly a puzzle game, and I'm dog shit at puzzles, but, you know, always fun to try, right? 3DS version? Don't know about that. Because I don't know how well that controls. All right, I've a I've stranded the uh, the poor newspaper boy up here. I I don't think uh, the 3DS was built to control games in a. I don't I don't like the 3DS as a console. A Clockwork Pelican. I don't like the 3DS because I don't think uh, handhelds ever should have gone 3D. I think they should have stayed 2D and pixelated. I think it looks better, and I think it's much easier on the system. Uh, however, they did, and there's nothing I can do about it, other than just kind of avoid those games. I, so I, without ever having played it, I might be wrong, I don't think Majora's Mask 3D would control well at all. Bioshock 2? I haven't even played Bioshock 1 yet. Bioshock's on there. You can add Bioshock 2, and we can do the thing where when I hit either, I'll play them in order. But, like, I gotta play them in order. That's how it goes. Then I can play Infinite. How in the hell do I get up there? I don't... Well, this guy... I guess I could pull up the hints. Although, knowing the hints, they're just gonna tell me I need to be a balloon boy. Let's see. Uh, why in the clock? When he gets angry, he creates an updraft that can float a balloon. Oh. So I need... Oh, there's someone who, like... Right, one of the train guys is, like, blow his stack, right? Maybe not. Jesus Christ, this dude's terrifying with a clown mask. Ugh. What is your deal? Only kids are allowed in this happy train. That's terrifying. You have not eased my worries in any way, shape, or form. I can get around behind this dude. Now he has crossing guard, damn it. Oh wait, aren't you a uh A 
I might have already done that hijink, but I think this guy had a... Uh... Yeah, I guess I already did it. He had one of the hijinks. One of these dudes has, like, blow his stack as, a, uh, as an ability. Does the whole steam shoots out of his head type thing. Might be this guy, I guess. Full steam ahead. Yeah, there we go. He retconned one and two. Burial at sea. Oh. You hate it, fit it because of burial at sea. Well, yeah, burial at sea super retconned uh, infinite. Or one and two. But I mean, I don't have to play that. I can just play infinite and skip the DLC if you want. Hmm. Is that not what I... No, I can't. I can do it, but then you know. Hmm. Maybe it's a different guy. All right, who would it be? Stack balloon waiter into engineer cross and blow his lid near the fans. Near the fans. Unless they mean these fans right here. Nope. I, that's the problem. I just don't know what fans they mean, per se. This is not the doll you're looking for. Ah. Now I need to remember which ones this guy can't stack into. Which one's Engineer Cross? Go find Engineer Cross. Please do that. Yeah, sure. Hey, whatever, whatever the uh, the chat person wants. Surely this person will highlight Engineer Cross because that's a unique individual. Oh. The list of unique dolls to see what he looks like. That is something I can do. Yes. Finding Engineer Cross. Uh, guard Perry. Clerk of the Works. Solicitor. Oh, I need him for a hijinks. Peter Frederick. Engineer Ulysses. Conductor Orville. Guard Percy. Masterson. Judge. Engineer Switch. Your Engineer Cross. Okay. That guy. Where'd that guy go? Don't tell me he ran off to the lounge, that son of a bitch. A nickel for every time in 2013, Trey Barker destroyed the universe all because he cared about women beginning with the letter E. You have two nickels. I don't know if he destroyed the universe in The Last of Us. Come on now. I'll grant you he did in Bioshock Infinite. Can't argue with that. Here he is. You can blow your lid. Interesting. Timed that terribly wrong. All right, blow lid, unstack. Ah, there we go. <laughs> oh shit! God. All right, now. Don't. Please, game. Please. Why would you? Okay, I'll face this way. Unstack. Now where the fuck am I? Okay, all right. Unstack. Stack. There we go. Woo! You played stacking last night for a bit? Hell yeah. Did they give you a brain fart? Yeah, Infinite's ending is trippy and weird. All right. Hey! Solution sleuth. Racking up achievements left and right in this game. Uh, while I'm here, I know I said I wouldn't do these all on stream. Uh, 
Some of these I know the answer to. Are you the kid that can tag? No, you're the sugar rush kid. There's a kid who can tag. There's also Solicitor Barnabas, who, uh... I need to, like, solicit grown women with him. I don't know who I need to tag as this kid. Maybe people that are actually willing to play with me. Like this little shit. Ah, play tag with children dolls, of course, of course. Makes sense, makes sense. Here's two kids right now. But I mean, also, I would like to clear out this level, at least. You look like a child. Hell yeah. Oh, and last one. This will work. Oh, is that Barnabas? No, you're not Solicitor Barnabas. You're just some schmuck. Oh, th th that could be Solicitor Barnabas. Yes! I'll have to remember you. Uh, well, first of all. Got it, got it. In I go. I need to solicit women with this guy. Because I may like to know who could resist. Well, he smokes, though. Wait a minute. Perhaps I'm remembering wrong, because they are just yelling at me. Uh, but I mean, I think this kid, right, has, uh... Yeah, his thing is go potty, so let's go to the bathroom to do that. Got two of the three solutions for the train. It's a fun game, dude. Finding all the solutions is super fun. Yep. Use go potty in the little men's room. You know, where it's supposed to be used. Only two games of community brain parts. Infinite and Virtue's Last Reward. Ah, oh, Virtue's Last Reward is weird. <laughs> Troy only has one line of Virtue's Last Reward. Yeah, well. He got paid. That's what counts. Patronize, Blast from the Past, and Soliciting. Soliciting definitely is Solicitor Barnabas. Blast from the Past is this guy. But I don't remember... I looked at a guide. I don't remember who he needs to fart on is the problem. Last from the past. Favorite kanji? As in, like, kanji character or, like, favorite character named kanji? On old dolls. Ah, I have to flat. I have to fart on old people with this guy? Hell yeah. Let's go. Who looks old? You look old. Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Fart on this old man. Stop, another one. Hope you're ready for a mouthful. Ah, oh, yeah. There it is. Ah, oh, you, you're an old man. How convenient. And... None of you are old. Alright, I promise after this one I'll go and do the main plot. But, you know, every hijink I do now is one I don't have to do later. Try your Matt. Oh, I see. That regard. Uh, Matt. I like Matt Mercer more. And frankly, I played more of Golden, so. There's an Aqua Teen game on the PS2. Is there really? I know there's a, um, uh, Harvey Birdman Attorney at Law video game. I actually own it on the Wii. It's very Ace Attorney-like. <laughs> now I think about it. That's one I should play for the stream. The, here's an old guy. The, uh, the Harvey Birdman Attorney at Law video game. It's a golfing game? Why is it a golfing game? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear me. All right, whatever. Off to the plot. Honestly, why wouldn't it be a golfing game? Ready for fun? You are horrible. Yes, take me for fun. Kids only. Happy train departing for fun. This isn't suspicious. I 
I think the Harvey Birdman game was also on PS2 because that was the era, but I own it on the Wii, so. That's just the one I know. This is not good. Fun Errol. Funeral! Oh no! <laughs> that took me. Took me a second. It said fun for all. And then the, it disappeared and said fun Errol. It's like, huh, interesting. Oh no, it actually says funeral. <laughs> uh, this train isn't fun in any way, shape, or form. How much was it like Ace Attorney? Well, you're solving cases and trials. It doesn't have, you know, all the drama and characters and going around exploring. It's much more of... It's it's a visual novel courtroom drama. That's about where it begins and ends. Unban Nathan? All right, cool. Nathan, you're unbanned. Twice, even. Three times? Oh, my God, Nathan. You're the most unbanned person on this channel. Get up and move. Oh, fuck yourself. Uh, all right, though. Get up and move. Does me doing this uh, go with the jolly music? I sure hope so, otherwise I look like a tool right now. Oh, crap, it's over. No gameplay could be happening, but no, someone made me get up and move. There, happy. Did we defend Scooby and the gang? I don't remember. I remember you defend the hippo in the safari hat, that's about it. You want to point out you didn't use that redeem? No, it'd be vampire dance if you used it. New place, new movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We've arrived at the Baron's Triple Decker Tank Train, or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, good heavens. Poor soot-covered orphans. With toothbrushes. Thank you, Nightbot. I could go in here. Because I'm the world's smallest child. Ha ha! Oh, wow. Oh, uh, this is the only way across. All right, let's explore there a little bit more. You're hiding? Wait, you're Charlie. This is all your fault. What do you mean? After the Zeppelin landed, the Baron rounded us all up. I'll never see my family again. I hate you, Charlie. Wow, fuck you. What a... Oh, aren't you supposed to be in the pens? You know, talking's forbidden. I'm not sure I'm the one who should be getting blamed for this. Surely this is the Baron's fault, not mine. Oh, wherever the pens are. I guess I'm off then. That's that card sorted. Alrighty. Child Labor Force Holding Pen. Oh my god! They've got a slide. <laughs> uh, they've got a slide from the fun room that leads into the fucking pen. This isn't my fault. First of all, I'm not the one who abolished child labor. That was the ambassadors. But more importantly, this is clearly the Baron's fault, not mine. Pens, you say? Yeah, Pen would try and keep child labor. Why does everyone blame me for this? This is a little unreasonable, in my opinion. Like, you're going to pay for this. What do you mean? I'm not the one who put you in a pen. That is so not on me. Ridiculous. God, they all hate me. Oh, Token's fault. It's not. I promise it's not. What the hell is going on here? Yeah, Mr. Ruffles is mad at you. Oh, this kid here, too? Wait, did that person call me Chrissy Buckingham? That's not... Okay, you know what? Sure, it's Chrissy Buckingham's fault. Yeah, you ruined everything, Chrissy Bucky... Or buck -amound? My name's Charlie Blackmore, so clearly they're not talking about me. Ah, 
You want to come get a dog treat? Yeah. A dog treat for a good dog, right? <laughs> His option is to unlock the pen. Yeah, all right, sure. Unfortunate reunion. Is that my brother? I can't believe you managed to get on board. They, they asked me on board. It wasn't difficult. I can manage a lot more than most, brother. Of course you can. You're a Blackmore. But listen, Charlie, we've got to rescue the family and stop this train. Well, yeah. Ideally. The family is on board, but I sent them all back home. Yeah, wait, what? My entire family's here? The Baron's goons broke into our cottage and took everyone, Charlie. They even took Mom. Oh, for God's sakes. Those black-hearted scoundrels. Where did they take the family? They're on this very train or being held by four of the Baron's most diabolical guards. And what's even worse is the train is headed for the Baron's offshore labor platform. Oh, no. I'll find the family, Archie. Can you stop this train? I'll make my way to the engine and see what I can do. If the train reaches the platform, we'll be at the mercy of the Baron. What are they doing at the offshore labor platform? Rescue your family and from their captors and find a way to stop the train. I like how we all have hats. Matching hats. Was everyone still mad at me or am I off the hook? Do we think? Miss Ruffles is sorry for yelling earlier. Okay, I'm off the hook. Do you... Yep, you do count as a unique one. What about you? Yep, Spice Girl Jane. Gotta, you know... Dot the T's and cross the I's with this, uh... Unique group. And you? Well, maybe you ain't all bad, shrimp. Yeah, there you go. That's the spirit. Take it for an apology. Somebody help me! I don't belong here! Keep your distance! Defeat Sickle the Sly. Ooh. have a thing called Overtime. You just run at things. Alright. Keep your distance. What if I ran into you? I have to do hmm. He's being held in there. God, he is a big man. Nothing short of. Where's those soup kids? I'm hungry. Someone's sneezing. What did he say? He also said nothing short of something or other. Pens opened. Yeah, well. Old news at this point. You still need the open the pen upstairs. Uh, I don't know, actually. I can check. Dude, do, 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 they wanted soup kids, so maybe Spice Girl Jane. Also, dog is colorblind, so everything goes a bit black and white. I appreciate that detail. There's no locks on these pens. I can't open them. They just come in via the slide, and then they wait here, I guess. Charlie just left us here. Yeah, I can't do anything. There's no lock on these pens. Before he came along, we were doing just fine. They're talking shit about me, even though I'm not here. AGDQ is happening right now. Who's playing this game? And can I submit the run when I'm done with it? I'll take you, because you mentioned something about soup kids, so. Well, this could be a soup kid, right? What is this guy? He's got a belly bump. Ugh. Uh. Eh. Alright, so what do you say, though? What do you say specifically? Keep your distance. Nothing will... Nothing you say will make me abandon my post. 
Nothing short of bad pestilence or mild intestinal distress can cause me to leave. Interesting. Can I do anything for you? Mm. Apparently not. Okay. Perhaps someone over here, then. No stacking! Psh, what's even the point, dude? Oh, well, there's the soup, kid. Serve soup. Hmm. Maybe if I serve him soup, he'll be distracted. Is the idea. I don't know. Food is finally here. I'm hungry enough to eat a tree. I didn't, I didn't really see what he said. I timed that right. That was good, but I'm still hungry. Much improved. I don't know. They're, the dialogue boxes are over each other is the annoying thing. Not yet. We've got to do this in the proper order. Yeah, I can't, I can't read what he's saying. Yo, what the fuck are you telling me? I can't talk to him. If I stand over here, flathead... Ugh, and I can't just mash A. I gotta get closer to him. Don't waste that. That was good, but I'm still hungry. I, I have no idea what he's trying to tell me. I need to spoil the soup somehow. Now, what is going on here? Quickly try to blast it with your fan and freeze the water. Salt, yeah. We did it! Our combination is well met. Salt, fart, breath. Combo abilities. Some abilities can be combined to create a powerful effect. First stack the two dolls together. Use the larger doll's ability, then unstack to the next size down and quickly use its ability. Uh... I could water the soup, I guess. Oh, this guy has a cold. Maybe, uh... What are you doing? Jesus. Alright, hold on, hold on. Do anyone unique? Stack any three evil industrialists together. Oh, great. He can pollute. Can I just go in and pollute the guy? The sick guy, obviously, I can go in and ruin that guy's day, but let's see if polluting him won't stink him out somehow. Oh, no! Alright, well, that's not happening, then. Alright, where is... There's sick boy. Sir Sully Taintwell. Infectious sneeze. Well, this is going to be the easiest of the options, I suppose. Oh, for the love of crap. Okay, so obviously I want to infect somebody else and then spread the disease, right? A sneeze in the air. I must go wash my hands. Hey. Yeah, I'd like to get one without help, and then the others I can swallow some pride and just look at the guy for. You sure swept that guard out of the way? Yeah. Thanks, Albert. Can you help me? Can you help Archie try and stop the train while I find the rest of the family? You bet. Be careful, though. The Baron's really after you this time. This is technically... I mean, not in counting, not counting the DLC. This is technically the last level, so I'm curious as to why uh, they're just now sort of adding this... I haven't even seen this one. 
uh, why they're adding this, um, a chill is in the air. Okay, so I need the ice. Uh, they're adding this concept of combo abilities. It seems like of all the times to do it, Hans Adeldorf, you again, and Fire Chief Russell. So I spray him with water, and then I blow cold air. At least there's not. I think I feel a sniffle coming on. Ah, oh, I, I gave him a cold. Do you get it? Fire and ice. Okay. Uh, the guard is ready to be fed. Yeah, we know about the soup one. The problem with that is, can I make the soup sick? Oh, the soup is already sick. Somebody fucking bombed in the soup. You can tell by the green bubbles. And by someone, I mean probably me. Is You're the DLC long? It's pretty much just another level. Hamha, fellow tokenoid. Hey, 7-9, how's it going? I'm going to be sick. Yeah, I infected the soup. Snot soup. Oh. And he's still soaking wet. You know, I really would have thought that was... Okay, well... Hey, listen. Don't foul up the soup bowl. Okay. A uh, battle royale. I'm sure one of my mods that's definitely paying attention will get on that. Sharpish. Thank you, thank you. It's kind of beat you to it, Nathan. Fake fan. Uh, I don't suppose the coal. Are any of you guys unique? Some people are occasionally unique. That's T whistle. Just tell me what the last one is. Because if it's not the snot, make the soup bowl child to the pigeon car. Ew! I think I see where we're going with this, but ew! This is very similar to the snot. I would assume this gets you the same result. Kind of like how, uh,. Stamping uh, got you the same result as scribbling on a guy in the uh, Finding the Teddy Bear Challenge. Alrighty. Well, I mean, that's the way it goes. So I kind of gets paid the big bucks. It's true. You too, huh? I'm looking for pigeon droppings. <laughs> Yeah, that'll do it. Ew. He was probably better with the snot. At least that came from a human. Anyway, fucking soup's on, my guy. You need a raise? Cool, your pay is now doubled. See what a generous god I am? Scam, who won? Oh, penguin won. Hell yeah, no scam there. Serve soup, baby. I'm going to be sick. Yeah, th this is somehow different from the snot. Pigeon bisque. That seems silly to me. 100% raise. Yeah, exactly. That's all you were here for? Thanks, 7-9. As usual, your semi-loyalty warms us all. In the cockles of our heart. I wonder, oh, where's one of the guys who has like, uh, he's downstairs, unfortunately. Oh no, there, here he is. This guy spots unique people. I got you already. Oh, you're unique? Or were you just someone I could highlight? Now you're just someone I could highlight. Excellent for spotting unique people. Which, of course, you need for the achievement. Anyone unique in here? No, no one. Alright, well, the pigeon car is gross. I think we can all agree. I don't know why they keep pigeons in the soup next to each other. You're unique, though. Go! 
Gustav! The piano player set. Oh, dear. Who the fuck is this guy? Oh, well, there's another piano player. Uh, but he's not the next one I need, tragically. It'd be great if they're all... There's another piano player in the same uh, sort of vicinity. It's time for our second performance. Yeah, I'm thinking the piano players are uh, all around somewhere. It's just a matter of finding them all. Oh, there's one. Sergey. Ludwig. Oh, hold on. Let me hop into fucking... Quillhead over here. Gilliam the Furry. Oh, okay. Sure, dude. Weird that they doxed you like that, but... You do you, I guess. Is that a... <laughs> it's just... Just money on a stick in a... <laughs> sure, why not? Wolfgang! There's two more piano players. That guy needs help. What do you need help with? If Taylor has fallen asleep and I've been unable to wake him, well, I mean, have you tried this guy with a giant whistle on his head? He needs... He's needed downstairs for a fitting. Like... Right there, what do you mean? Taylor Wickens. Just grab him real quick. Soup! Can't find any pants in soup. Well, you're not looking hard enough. They're there. Just keep looking. Uh, any other piano players out here by chance? Nope. Okay, let's head downstairs. I assume the piano lounge is down here somewhere. Only ladies pass through the gate. Okay. Yo, fellow men, go away, we're hiding. You're doing a terrible job. So where's the piano lounge, then? Unless it's in... Oh, well, the tailor's needed downstairs. I guess I could grab him and bypass it. Is the piano lounge back in this room? I'm running out of places to go after that. The piano lounge wasn't downstairs from here, right? Try the piano player ability. It's just keep time. It's neat, but... Is this the piano lounge? If it is, it's a terrible piano lounge. I don't know where the piano lounge is. Well, none of these guys are particularly difficult to find. They're all in the same room. So I'll just grab uh, the tailor and head downstairs, I guess. What's this guy's ability? Man hug. They don't seem to like it. There you are. I need one size bigger. <laughs> Only ladies can pay. Ah, oh, but you see. Go ahead and measure my hips. I think they've expanded. Mmm. Idiot. Uh, disable the ladies' gate. Ah, so now any old jackass can get in, right? And I assume I can also... Yep. Tell me, my lady, have you seen the tailor? I'm afraid he's late for my fitting. Ah, and here's more... Yep, piano players. Okay, so this is now opened up. Why can only ladies be in here? Is it just so ladylike they can't have the men folk? 
I have to assume that's the case, in which case... Uh, based. Ah, uh, it's, it's the Black Widow herself. Hold on one second. Widow Chastity, yep, got it. And... You're doing the measuring? No, they didn't, but tell me if you've seen the tailor. I am the tailor. Ah, this is so I could get into... Well, she's special, right? So... Yep, there we go. Gertie. Alright, back upstairs to grab the other piano player, and then I'll be on my way. I have to be ladylike. Oh, me? Not a problem. I'm the most ladylike man I know. Ask anyone. I bet PK would vouch for me. She knows all about being ladylike. The Rosa, excuse me. PK, uh name of her old channel. She's very much embracing Rosa now. Oh, and then there's this guy who needs to wake up. God damn, every time with this dude. Wake the fuck up! Alright, Franz! We have one more piano, man. My family will rescue me, I just know they will. My armor makes me impervious to any attack. Tickle Tiberius the Terrible. Oh my god. Why did the tomato turn red? I don't know. Aren't tomatoes normally red? Why did the tomato turn red? He asked. Hey, he's armored up. He can't get around it behind him. Where is the last piano bar? Thank you. Okay, fine. Get this sorted out. Are you unique, man with weird hat? It's all the salad dressing. Ah! <laughs> have you seen my fellow pianists? Uh, yes, actually. I have them all with me. Okay, he's not unique. There's several of them. In. The door's locked until the power comes back on. Okay. Bring all of the piano players' matched set dolls to the piano and stack them together to power the lounge and continue on your way. I mean, I'm basically done. Kids spilling money. Oh, you know what? I think I found a way past Hans. Here they are, the Piano Boys. Gentlemen, it is time. <laughs> they all have the piano stacked up. Also, the way they play piano is uh, unique. We're in perfect time. Power's back, folks. Enjoy the show. Who rigged the power to the piano? <laughs> Headphones. All right, well, but they're enjoying themselves. Let's go distract uh, Tiberius the Terrible. Look at them tickle those ivories. So you say that, and it makes me think the piano is somehow related to this guy over here, but at the same time... Money! Eh? Huh? Money? <clears throat> wow. He does not give a shit. That makes me impervious to any attack. A mortar shell could bounce off my chest. A blazing inferno would only warm me comfortably. Any fiendish tickling assault would be unlikely to work. Hmm. He's really keen on the tickling. Okay. Well, since I'm here with this guy, might as well check for unique people. Tickle Tiberius the Terrible. You've got a horn in your head. You've got flash photography. I don't know if that actually does anything, though. Oh, that guy's unique. Hold on. Feather dust. Oh, well, that's probably... Oh, you're not a unique at all. I guess we can see if that flare thing is correct or not. 
And if it isn't, I've got, you know, a feather duster. Hey there, big man. Huh. I wasn't kidding. All right, fair enough. Do 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 do. <laughs> there he goes. Rolling all about. Oh, Charlie, you're so clever. Papa would be so proud. Isn't he dead in like a coal mine somewhere? Chimney sweep, I think. You always were the nicest one, Agatha. I heard the guards say we're all headed for the Baron's offshore labor platform. Yeah, where labor just happens. It's true. Archie's trying to get the to the engine and stop the train. Don't worry, Charlie. We'll stop the train, and you find the rest of the family. Huzzah! Yep. Tickle Duster. Easy enough. All right. So what is... His head is unprotected and can be winged. Hmm. Anyone... Well, there's plenty of people tall enough for... Escape from the guards without being caught. I don't know... What exactly that means. I mean, like, this guy? Hello. Ah, whatever. I'll look up a guide later. Uh, I need a tall enough person to hit the top of his head, I guess. To be winged. I don't know if that means... I don't think there's anything pigeon-related. It's Baron Puss and Commission. It's important I am the one to capture that tiny kid. Punch clock. Oh, I bet this is it. Because he, like, has a boxing glove and everything that punches down. Am I tall enough, though, for that? Uh, maybe. Hello, sir. Have you considered a conk on the noggin? <gasps> oh, yeah. He doesn't give a shit. He does not give a shit. Is there an even taller man with this hat? <laughs> okay, well, that's a hijinks. I'm doing that. Hell yeah. Knock, knock, bitches, it's me. Punchy McGee. I say, have at you. Not you. Have at you. And a little bit of this action. <laughs> All right, uh, but for real now. Uh, uh, top of his head could be winged. There's part of your problem. There's not a lot of people taller than Again, I don't think the birds had anyone even remotely tall enough that this could work with. It's the next hint, I guess. Pigeons will fly to soup. Okay, god damn it. <laughs> Shows what I fucking know. Hey, dumbass, bet you thought that winged thing didn't relate to pigeons. Guess what? It did. I think maybe what they... God, the pigeons are all the way back here. I think maybe what they want me to do is, like... I don't know where a guard is, per se, but... I assume what they want me to do is, like, get spotted by a guard and then quickly hop into another body. Uh, thereby escaping a guard without the guard actually catching me. Which, who knows, might result in the game over. Alright, before I get all the way here and, like, still don't know what the fuck I'm doing, let me just look at the last goddamn. As a soup boy, attract pigeon near Tiberius the Terrible, then use the pigeon to fly onto his head. Oh. Is there a pigeon near him? I'm going the long way. Ah, well, I'm already here, so. 
Yoo-hoo, pigeons. All right, well, that's not going to work again, I see. Unless... Ah, huh? pigeons. No, okay. Maybe not all hope is lost. Ha! Lost it. Yep, okay. That's exactly what I mean to do. All right, fine. I'll track pigeon near the terrible tickler or whatever the fuck his name was. Tiberius the taint swoggling tongue twister. I wonder if he could be seduced away by, uh... <laughs> you know what? I'll try that, actually. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe the Widow Chastity is gonna come in handy one more time. Swing the fucking the way she walks. <laughs> Swing those hips, girl! Let's see how impervious he is to the feminine charms of the Widow Chastity. Hello, big boy. Oh, wow. He doesn't care. Impervious to any attack. Even the wiles of the... The, the Widow Chastity. Hey, uh, spot me. Oh, crazy. You lost me. Ah, oh, it's the same dude. Okay, never mind. So, pigeon. So the pigeon will hop down. Then I need to, I think it's Charlie. Yeah, hop into the pigeon. Not you. The flippin' pigeon. Ah! <laughs> hey, fair enough. It would bother me too. Uh, let's see. Last one. His armor is too tight and needs adjustment. A maintenance worker, maybe? Have we seen a maintenance worker, though? I mean, maybe. They were... They were talking about how the power was on, so, or power was off, so... Maintenance worker, maintenance worker, where is a maintenance worker? Oh, look who it is! Give a girl a hand, will ya? It's the farting guy. Ah, oh, but wait, it's... Say what you will, the lights are staying out. Illuminate the Shadow General. Ooh. And it's Meriwether Malodor. Oh, Meriwether Malodor. You're the stinkiest man who ever stunk up a Zeppelin train, train station combination. Yeah, I'm not seeing any, uh... Unless these guys can... I haven't really... Oil spill. Oh, that might actually... Oil's slippery, right? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Get the tailor. Shit. Off the chair nearby uh, the lady's gate using the factory whistle ability. Uh, I measure him and I'm like, ah, oh, this armor's much too small. Well, we have the factory lady and their whistle ability. And there goes the widow chastity. Ah, uh, gotta swing all the way around to the tailor. No men allowed, go away. Oh, that's clearly a man. <laughs> I thought it said the factory lady's whistle ability. The Taylor Wickens. I like how they have a picture of the room that I was just in. In case you forgot what it looked like, but didn't want to do a 180 degree turn. And just look at that painting. <sighs> Measuring me already, I don't have all day. Well, uh... Oh, and then can I hop into you, or... I mean, maybe. I need someone bigger, though. Without his armor, I might be able to hop inside the guy. 
Or maybe, fuck, Punch Clock here can just knock him the fuck out. Worth a shot. You 180 at me? No, you don't. Ah, oh, but I can't hop inside. Uh, you're vulnerable without my armor on. Uh, yeah, but I'm trying to attack you and nothing's happening. Hmm. How do I... One accidental hug. God damn it. Ugh, I gotta go get the man hugger guy, the furry. Jesus Christ. This is a lot of back and forth for this one guy. I guess if I... How would you ever think to do that? I mean, in fairness, I guess maybe you could come to the conclusion that uh, you gotta remove his armor with the tailor. But, like, to then know you preemptively needed this guy? Like, come on, not you. Some of these solutions are a little bit silly. Which the whole game is a comedy game, so yeah, okay, fair enough, but... Hug! There he goes. Alright! Harry Amour. Oh, and I need, uh... I'm gonna be running around. I at the very least need a disguise. All right, we've tickled Tiberius the Terrible. Let's illuminate the Shadow General. There was a dude who literally had a candle on his head, so I assume that has something, a solution baked in. It would be a bit silly, in my opinion, if uh, he did not. There you are. Oh, I need it. You're a little big. There we go. And there they go. Good lord. Hello. I thought we agreed earlier that you'd stay out of this car. You don't like the dark, and I don't like the light. It would be best for both of us if you simply go away. Yeah, but what if I just did this? Ah, you have fuel to that flame. It might burn bright enough to bother me. Ah, I need the... Oh, wait, I have an oil guy. <laughs> wait. What, what do we think would happen if I farted while the flame was going? <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm gonna do this first. Oh no, an oil spill. Oh, what a shame. Oh wait, then I unstack it, then I oil spill onto the- Yeah, oh my god. Flashbang. <laughs> He's hiding under the thing. Abby! Kick the box for good measure. When will these goons learn that you can't stop a Blackmore? Archie's trying to stop the train as we speak, Abby. I bet he could use your help. I'll take care of it, little brother. I'm tired of the Baron pushing us around. Huzzah. Flare well. Oh, 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 aren't we clever? All right, so what if I got you, Farty Magoo here, and then grabbed Candle Boy? Flare up. And fart, baby. Might need to fart on him. Ah, I was hoping the gas would ignite and it would all explode. He number one to 30? 30. Go all the way, baby. Turn the lights back on. Security will scare you away. You mean this right here, but I don't have a maintenance guy. I mean, there might be one in another car, I suppose. You got lucky? Lucky you. 
the gas room. Any maintenance guys in here? Oh, yeah. Actually. Clerk of Works Jasper. Oh, this guy. Oh, hold on. Oh, no, it's me. Ah, oh, you lost me. Ain't it, ain't it a shame when that happens? All right, Jasper, well, let's uh, turn the lights back on, baby. Um. Am I missing something? Do I need, like, light here in order to see that there's lights to be turned on? And give it a shot, I guess. Where's old Flamey? Oh, he's upstairs still, isn't he? They very much left him up there. Along with the farter. The farter's definitely involved in some way. You just know it. Somehow I fart on this Shadow General, and he goes, Oh, no! Alright, so let's see. Flare this up. There. Now that it's bright enough, can you maintain this? Huh. Guess not. Okay. It takes two to restore the lights. Great. Awesome. You want to fucking tell me which two? Got the maintenance guy. Oil, maybe? There's like a kettle up here. Was I not standing in the right spot? As has happened prior. Nope. Oh, wait, does that... Oh, that's a money sign. What? Hold on. Oh. Jump start. Who who jumps up and down? You don't jump up and down, you feather dust. Who jumps up and down? You do oil. What do you do? You pollute, right? Yeah. And what do you do? Carbon footprint. All right, we got it. Get ready for some light, baby! It burns! Alright. Oh, that was the third one. Interesting. What's the, the last one? Use Jasper to turn the gas main on and the lighter doll to light the pilot light. That being this guy. Yeah, Clerk of Works Jasper. Then I need... I guess the pilot light's up here, right? It's gotta be. I assumed that machine was what they were referring to. Oh, yep. I guess it's here. And I need... Uh, a pilot light guy for it. You're not going anywhere. Not yet, anyway. Alright, gas lines on. Easy enough. And boom jam pilot lights on. Beautiful. It burns! Right, cooking with gas. All right, uh, where am I? Oh, I'm down here again, I see. Got out of the disguise, and all right, moving along. Grab uh, one of the watchers, see if there's anyone else unique in here. I don't see a watcher, so that's an issue, but you know what? I don't think anyone else is unique in here. Huh. 
I'm just a lowly money server. Here we go. Oh, we're, we're a train on the sea, and the fucking lights are on floaties. Clever. We're having fun here. Kid workshop. Boy, he really likes child labor, this Baron. No one unique, huh? These guys have uh, toothbrushes on their head to scrub toilets. These ones are just doing laundry. How cruel. Oh, wait, hold on. Oops, it's me. Ah. Dang, what does it say? Wait, wait, wait. Kick me. <laughs> ah, delightful. Anyway. Moving along. That guy looks unique, maybe? This guy isn't unique? The emergency child control system? This box is off limits. Uh, it shouldn't be, though. We should definitely break this thing, right? There's a wind-up uh, lever over there, but... For all the good it does me. You're not unique, no. Oh, you look unique. What the hell? Ah, the corporate spy who can disguise. Um. Oh, <laughs> I can put a mask on them. <laughs> disguise female dolls. Sure, why not? Bam, disguised. Can I disguise children or... Yup. <laughs> I don't know to what end. What, what does that accomplish? He's voiced by Steve Blum. And you can tell he is a spy because he has a spy hat and does spy things. I am a plumber. I do not like long hours. That woman has large breasts. Goodness, I'm being held against my will. I fear no one. Not even a spy. Scare Simpleton the Strong. Uh. Boo. Ah, he doesn't give a shit. What would scare a strong man? Hmm. I could rock up behind him and blast his horn. Might not see that coming. Might startle him. <laughs> oh, yeah, give a shit. The coal car. There's nothing immediately in the area. Hmm. You have a punch glove in your hat, but that's not terribly scary. Scare Simpleton the Strong. Hmm. Ah, uh, here's my family. Let's get to the engine room and stop this train. How do we scare this guy? Even one way. Oh, maybe... Hold on. Maybe if I disguise a dude... And then I rock up to him like... Ah, look at my scary mask, huh? You're not the right size to be my relief guard. Ah, uh, but what if I... I fear no one. Okay, well, can I be the relief guard, eh? Yeah, look at me. I fear no one. Oh, and he needs the disguise, I guess. Uh, real clowns are scary, but the little ones don't bother me. Ah, you see my relief guard? Big guy supposed to be already masked? We need to go potty. You can't hold it much longer. I fear no one. I don't like ghosts, though. Real clowns are scary. Uh... Big guy with a mask. Oh, good, you're here. Okay. <laughs> it just wasn't triggering. Alright, good enough. That didn't scare him at all, but... 
I rescued Mama. Mom, stop. Guys, call your mom, unless you hate her. Charlie, I've missed you so much. I think you've grown. You always say that. You know it isn't true. I'm the world's smallest kid. Well, you've certainly act more grown up. You've been so brave. Mom. Charles Alistair Blackmore. Listen to your mother when she says something nice to you. Damn. Thanks, Mom. It's nice to see you haven't forgotten how to smile. Mom, we're all in bad trouble. We have to find a way to stop the train. Goodness, you're right. We haven't much time. So for the other ways of scaring him, he doesn't like ghosts or clowns. Hmm. Mass Mariah. Wow, that was the first one, really? I mean, I guess, but... He's afraid of ghosts. Thanks, cool. I haven't actually found a ghost, so... I guess I can check and see what these do. That scrubs toilets. Also afraid of clowns. Hey, buddy. You're not a real clown, are you? Real clowns are scary. Can you go away? Nah, it didn't do anything for him. Is there a real clown around here? Or any way I can get a real clown? Uh, also ghosts. Well, hold on. Can I, like, throw the sheet over somebody? And then boom, jam, ghost? Ah! Whoa, I'm a spooky ghost! A ghost! Nailed it. Alright, he also doesn't like clowns. I don't know how I'm gonna get a quote, real clown, unquote. Is there a bigger dude than this wearing a clown mask? That's the question. Gar doesn't like clowning around. You have not helped me. You have, in fact, not helped me at all. Uh, I guess I can go back and look. There might be a bigger clown dude running around. Oh, and I do need to, for hijinks, uh, woman with a sheet. There we go. Uh, just gonna fold the sheet. Cover dolls with sheets. Gotta just, you know, get those real quick. Well, I'm looking for people who could possibly be clowning around, I guess. Oh! Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this is a big old jack-in-the-box, right? So I need to spin this bad boy. But how do I spin this bad boy? Oh, can I... Wow, it really needs to be the smaller ones, huh? Maybe the kid, the guys with the hammer? I haven't really fucked around with them at all. Or this individual. Overtime. Eh. Kids, there's a kid. You're not anyone special, are you? Although, admittedly, you're not wearing a helmet, so maybe. Nice, no one's special. Uh, oh, here's one. Oh, you might actually. Are you special? No, I've seen a couple of you. Uh, yeah, so the guys with hammers... What do the guys with hammers do? That could wind a jack-in-a-box, I guess. I mean, I'll try it, and then I'll look at the next hint. Okay. Misbehaving children will summon the one who can scare him. So if I go around hitting people, 
Hey kids, stop misbehaving. Oh, what if I fucking hit you, huh? Knock that off, I'm warning you. Oh man, look at me go. I'm opening this box. Oh, there he goes. Do I need to run downstairs now? Oh god. That thing is truly awful. Like, truly awful. It's just roaring at people. Let me... In this grown man. Where'd the clown go? Peck the clown. Ugh. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, I'd be scared of this thing, too. Hey, what's up, buddy? Scary evil clown! Ah! Yeah, you know what? Fair. Hey, locomotivated. All right, another achievement. Love to see it. I have not been running in here when they're done and seeing if there's anything new. Ah, oh, well. I'm sure it's fine. I appreciate that the system seems to be a vague hint, a more specific hint, and then it just straight up tells you what to do. Charlie, you made it! Hell yeah, I did. I told you I could manage more than most. I know you can take care of yourself. It's just that... Will you two stop flapping your gums and help? Damn. You tell him, sis. We haven't been able to find a way through the coal car to get to the train engine yet. I'm sure I can figure it out. I bet we can do it faster if we all work together. Ah, uh, these are all unique dolls, right? That I'm about to... Yep, okay, so 22... 23... 24... 25... And 26, baby! Let's go! Now then. I'm guessing we need to, like, uh, use each doll's ability here as we progress through the rooms. We're not getting past this coal, though. Jeez. What is this? Chimney climb. Oh, this looks like a chimney, maybe. Uh. Oh! Yeah, okay. Fair enough. And that's too big for him to slip through, so I'll just casually slide under. Gotta snuff out the fire. The chimney sweeps are at it, baby. It's a weird way to climb. Well, he is a matrishka doll, to be fair. The parasol spin. I don't really see how this one is a uh, a coal miner thing or a uh, chimney sweep thing. Aha! The shovel. Oh, is that just to yeah get past this? Break the rocks. It's all up to Charlie, I think, at this point. Ha-ha! My dad! Charlie, it's your father! The last platform. Dad! Papa! The drama. Charlie, my boy, I always knew it'd be you who would find me. He was gonna say that to whoever came in the room. Charles, I think you're going to need a little help. Oh, well, okay. Everyone, just get him. It warms the embers of my heart to see you all here. Quickly, family, untie me. Oh, no. We're too late. The camera's at a Dutch angle. That can only mean... If it isn't the entire Blackmore stack, you coal-covered chimney crawlers are far too late to stop me. 
Don't stroke your fire or stoke your fire just yet, Bear, and the authorities will doubtlessly shut your villainy down. If they could only catch me, I'm detaching and sailing this entire platform to a neighboring country that appreciates my way of doing business. The Fiend. I'll take care of this, Papa. Wait a minute, son. Let's do this together as a family. Hell yeah. Stack up, Blackmores. I'm a well-trained traveler, whatever that means. Well, this is quite the labor platform. Which it appears to just be a factory <laughs> on a platform. Alright, so what can I do as Papa? I've got bellows, I see. Oh, wow, all the families are here. The the people I've helped, like this guy, the strong dude, and the, the German children. And, uh... Them. Everyone! I would have thought the bellows there would have worked. Oh, maybe here? Where the fire, obviously? Yeah, okay. Haha! -ha, the little fire isn't hot enough to bother me! Hmm. Find another doll from the crowd who can add more fuel to the fire. Hmm. Well, who could obviously? It's the seductress, the widow, Bla or chastity. I almost said the widow Blackmore. Uh, add more fuel to the fire. Well, that would be the the oil dudes, right? Quick little oil spill should do. Oh yeah. Oh baby. Ah. My goodness. Oh god, they're carrying him away. Get your grubby little worker hands off me, children. Where do you think they're taking him? You Blackmores have no idea what you're dealing with. Hell? Dude, that's a little harsh. Why can the children just carry him into hell? The Baron must be a whole stack of evil. So what? We'll just have to kick his evil butt five more times. Hell yeah. Let's get him, family. Alright, where is he now? He is up there. Oh, we have to do something here. Use different dolls. Clean out access. Oh, well, that's obviously the mom, right? She has to chimney sweep up. It's just an ability the kids have? Oh. That's concerning. See, if you had asked me, I just said they're taking him to a wood chipper, but, you know, shows what I know. Okay, so I have to open the door first. Uh, I need a maintenance dude for that, right? Where is, like, Jasper would be who I need? Oh, there you are. Literally right here. Is that not... Okay, there we go. A bit finicky, but sure. And clean it out, baby. Oof! <laughs> There's another one down. Not so fast, you terrible man. You get him, Spice Girl Jane. Ah, there's the chimney climb that we need. Different dolls to split the Baron and knock him down again. Yeah, so... I don't know what I need once I'm up there, but I definitely need to look at, uh... This guy's chimney climb just to see what the hell's going on. Oh, 
He do be climbing. Uh, now that I'm up here, uh, what are you gonna do? Lure me off this ledge? Oh wow, I really do need the widow chastity. There's only one thing that can stop this evil fiend, and that's sex appeal. A pair of seductive hips will lure him away. Oh my goodness. Ah! <laughs> Fucking idiot. Oh dear. Oh wow. He's getting smaller and smaller. Have some respect, you twerps! Not fire. All right, that's snuffing it out. I can't believe that worked. Why not? Have you seen the Widow Chastity? I mean, where'd she go? Uh, just to demonstrate her feminine wiles. Uh, she was over here somewhere. She might have gone off. But I mean, have you seen her? Surely you also would fall to the same seductive hips that she has. All right, snuff out. Too hot to cross, must be snuffed out. That's the idea. There we go, beautiful. Uh, oh, and I need to... Uh, where's the guy with underwear on his head? Yeah, here we go, this dude. Need a bigger one. He can lift! Lift, I say! Ah, dastardly spikes. It's the little German boy. Help me, you simpering little sap. And his little German family. Sister, mother, I found you. I mean, I found them already. Stop that vile blubbering and help me, you nitwits. Heh <laughs> Oh, I'm having none of it. Hooray! Alright, well now I need uh, the parasol. Easy enough. Uh, and yeah, the strong man's gone as well. I guess they're gone once you use them. Ah, just hung the umbrella there as a shield. And then, yell into the pipe. Who's good at yelling? The mom that we just saw yell at him, maybe? No one's immediately leaping to mind. Scream for help. Yeah, I guess. So loud! He's getting real tiny now. Oh no, the hammers! Wow. And now pigeons are gonna carry him away? Oh dear. That's, uh... Well, that... He was just eaten by birds. Huh. Well then. I'm guessing a bird is up last here. Uh, but I'll assume I'll need my, uh, my other sibling. Who can, uh, shovel. Why not? Ew. Rotten fish guts, eh? Alright, well, uh... Hey, how's it going? I can just talk to you? I don't know if I'm meant to be here. Yeah, I'm definitely not meant to be here. We'll just fly back up to my nest. Don't worry about it. And we'll... Yeah, start shoveling. Just correct that. Ah! Oh, don't worry about that little thing. Oh, it's this kid. Get the bad man, Mr. Ruffles. Oh, wow. Oh, God. That bear is real? Jesus. Huh. 
Well, I'll be damned. You're a great big happy... You get a great big happy hug for that, Mr. Ruffles. Huh. Well then. You soot-covered peasants are hopeless. Guards! The guards. Levi, is that you? So it wasn't just up there. No, it was a real bear for some reason. I thought you might need a hand, Charlie. Why does he have a real bear? Why don't you? Hobo Team Bravo. Go, go, go. Ah, the HTB. Well, <laughs> all right then. You're all clear, Charlie. Make it count. After him, family. Up. Uh, well, we have Gas Guy, and <laughs> there's only one way this could possibly go down, I guess. I was trying it earlier. And... Whoop. And a little bit of... Whoop. Oh! <laughs> Cool guys don't look at explosions, baby. I'm coming for you, Baron. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh, I love it. Well, well, well. Ah, oh, he's still running, the son of a bitch. Time for a trip, boy. Oh my god. You remembered it being so fried didn't work earlier? Misremembered when you needed it. I'm gonna need to, uh, fucking run. Whoop! Whoop! Oh man, I can get in that bigger guy. Ah, there we go. Oh god. He destroys the entire. Oh, he's got a pit full of children? Take him down, Charlie. He's a pit full of children. Rock attack. Oh, rock beats scissors, obviously. Oh shit, he's got paper now. That's not how it works. Run, Johnny! Haha, -ha, you fool. Now I have. S oh shit, he's got rock. Ah, oh, that bastard. He changed at the last second. Also, unbelievable. This is the final boss fight. I mean, on the one hand, what else could it have been? What is he? He's coming at me with paper. Oh no, not paper. Whatever will I? Ha ha! Oh shit, that was a rock. I'm an idiot. That was absolutely a rock. Well, that's on me. Alright, where is this asshole? Alright, he's coming at me with... That's another rock. Alright, we got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. Ha ha! Paper! You son of a bitch! Ah, squirmy little bastard got away. <laughs> Does that say Beauchamp Row? Wait, okay, so. All right, where is he now? Oh, he's over there. Uh, oh, he's getting in. Oh, no, he's gotten that guy. But have you considered? Have you considered rock? Oh, yeah, get it, you son of a bitch. I take it, yeah, that was challenge two. How about best three out of five? All right, well, he's making a break for it. I'm guessing he's going for paper. Oh no, paper, whatever will I do? Ha <laughs> ha! Scissors! Oh, damn. Looks like you didn't make the cut, Baron. Rochambeau Rumble, yeah, that's what that one's called. Where is the Baron now? I don't know what it wants me to do now, then. I guess I could just open up the guide, but also, you know. One, once more with feeling? Yeah, once more with feeling. Probably another challenge would have been to just tie. Yeah. An end well met. Whatever. What are you going to do? The Orphan Holding Pit. <laughs> it's called the Orphan Holding Pit. <laughs> oh, he was ripped apart by orphans. 
possibly cannibalized, even. I'm fine, Dad. The Baron is gone. For good, I think. Yeah, again, maybe eaten by orphans. Hard to say. Definitely ripped l limb from limb. Maybe eaten. Which I mean... Little Dark? We need to help those poor orphans out. <laughs> Hold on. I got an idea. A few moments later... <laughs> the hobo's just got a net full of orphans. <laughs> what? You're the best, Charlie. Thanks for saving us. Looks like you're quite the hero, son. I'm proud of you. Ah, I'm just a Blackmore dad. Ain't no mess we can't address. Sometime later, back at the Blackmore cottage. Papa! Gather around, everybody. I've got news. Today at my new job, they handed out bonuses and holiday roast pigeon. Guys, holiday roast <laughs> It's just the fucking pigeon. It's your favorite, right, Charles? Charlie's gone. He's back at the Royal Train Station. Remain calm, everyone. We'll form three rescue teams. Angus, call your sister Adelaide and... Or Agnes, I guess. Don't worry so much, dear. He's just visiting his old drifter friend. Well, as long as he's not being torn apart limb from limb by orphans in a pit. You know, you're right. If we've learned one thing, it's that Charlie can take care of himself. Now let's eat this roast holiday pigeon. What's his new job, I wonder? Baron defeated. All right. No end credits? That's a little weird. Uh. We'll just skip those then. Yeah, I think I was meant to get a tie. Uh. For, um. The final challenge, as it were. Which I assume I can run back and do real quick if I need to, but, uh... <laughs> Look at this collection. Handsome-looking collection, eh? There's that horrible clown. And yeah, I'm... No, that collection's done as well. It won't have any, uh... Statues. Maybe, maybe I did get that last challenge. I don't know. I can check, I suppose. Uh, challenge. Ah, oh, well. Hold on. Easy way to check. Uh, complete the final challenge. Triple decker. Okay, so these are high jinx, high jinx, high jinx, high jinx. Unique dolls and hobo king, hobo king, and hobo king. Okay, no. So that was it. All right. Uh, time to start Hobo King. Who were the hobos? They'll say different things to different... Okay. The Lost Hobo King. Don't mind me. Charlie, I can't thank you enough for offering to help me on my secret hobo mission. Yeah, you help me with my family. I'm just ruining the favor. And like you taught me, Levi, helping is the hobo way. You see, my uncle Rufus claims to have found a map to the lost hobo kingdom of Camelfoot. I don't know why he's shouting the last word, everything. Hobo kingdom, does that mean there's a hobo king? We've been without a king for some time, which is why we've become such a divided, impoverished people. This mission could change all that. Sure, that's how that works. Why not? Levi, my boy, and you brought the young hero Charlie Blackmore I've heard so much about. 
Uncle, is it true? Could this old fishing village really be the resting place of the lost hobo king? I'm sure of it, Levi. The fishing village is but a facade. The locals have no idea. Don't put your caboose before your coal car, Rufus. Until the crown is reforged, there's no telling if this truly is the lost kingdom of Camelfoot. Backwards, it's too Flamac. Verily! And, this is, and it is the crown with which we need your help, Charlie. Me? I don't know anything about crowns. It's form of currency at one point. Legend has it the crown was split into pieces, and that it can only be reforged by three mythical hobo blacksmiths. I know even less about blacksmiths. Damn, that's a shame. Each of the blacksmiths is hidden behind a special trial. A challenge! Then only the valiant may pass. Well, it's good I'm here then. I'm very good at that. Challenges, okay. Now you're talking. I knew you would help us, Charlie. Levi has ca 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 carved for us many statues about your bravery and resourcefulness. That's fair enough. Happy to help. Life blackens the face of chimney sweeps and hobos alike, but it has not darkened our hearts. Well said, Charlie. If anyone can find the lost blacksmiths, I know it's you. All right, there's your plot. Of the fishing village. I'm probably just gonna... I don't know, because I've got a little over an hour left, I'm probably just gonna sort of... <laughs> Is that a panda? I'm gonna hurry along through... Um these trials here, not try and find every solution and all that. Just here for the plot at this point. Past tests of valor, awaken three hobo blacksmiths and enter the castle Camelfoot to reforge the lost hobo crown so that Rufus may be crowned king. And I, of course, I can't uh, hop into any of these hobos, but I can get in here. Slap patch. Eerie examination. Ah, for the unique ones, right? This guy isn't unique. Read runes. That seems like a unique ability. Help. What do you need help with? Mr. Whiskers is inside that old boxcar and won't come out. Uh, so he is. Sure. It's too dark? Oh, shit. All right. Well, I tried. See you later. Uh, can I get a matchstick? Slap patch on their dolls. Well then. See, we're already doing this. Special today. Wet aged steaks. Ew. Why does this guy have a pallet on his head? Is he unique? He is not. But he has a pallet on his head. He can carry a small load. I gotta find these tests of valor. then that's the rub. They could be anywhere. A challenger approaches. Indeed. Behold Excelsion, the sardine can of the lost king. Alright. What is going on here? Open Excelsior. Find a way to open Excelsior and awaken the hobo blacksmith. Hmm. Well. I mean, this guy certainly looks potentially promising. What ho, stranger? Yeah, obviously he's unique. Uh, how do I... I mean, the runes could be important. Where is... There's just a lot of people carrying these uh, pallets on their head. Suggesting they're also important. What's your deal? 
I'm looking uh, to be called the True Knight. Have you seen him? His vision came to me in a dream. I crafted large sculptures of the image so that I would not forget him. Did you see him? Escort him to me. I have something for him. Uh, I don't see... <laughs> unless, you, unless you mean this. Which is not the most clear. It's probably that guy over there in the knight costume. Right? Uh, so if I'm this guy... Ah, okay, so it gives me hints, I guess. Ah, there's an arrow up there. Oh, I drop the anchor on the... Okay, yeah, I drop the anchor. I'm liking where this is going. But how do I drop the anchor? That guy's got a boiling thing of soup there. Hmm. Yeah, it just says up. I mean, this has got to be something, too, right? Okay, Charlie, help me out. What's going on in here? We have a seagull. Ah, oh, can I just fly up there? Oh, there is another seagull nest out over there. Ah. Hey, easy enough. Honestly, if it's going to be this easy, I might do them all three anyway. I'll beat the DLC, and then we'll see how, uh, how we're doing for time. Because, I mean, if there's more time, there's always more stuff I can do. Easy enough. Gone fishing. All right, well, got one of them. So, yeah, goal beat the DLC. If I have time left over, I'll do the other solutions just to see what they're all about. There's probably another one this way. Might need one of the... Ah, here we go. Uh, hail, Wanderer! Have you come to test your valor? Certainly have. What do you say? What the hell? You got me stumped on whatever this could be. Get in the house. Oh, as you approach the house. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. The house just stands the fuck up. Nice try, asshole. Huh. Interesting. All right. Some runes. An owl thing? Oh, what have we here? It's too dark. God damn it. Who has light? I mean, you have a matchstick, but... Unless I stand around here and catch on fire. I Maybe with the fishing pole I can get light? No. I just hits other people. You do eerie examination. What do you do? You got a pipe. Cornelius Caboose. You can smoke out. Hmm. What's your game? Bindle Bash. I'm trying to light a fire. So I can get in there. Because the problem is there's plenty of matchsticks around here for us hobos. But I can't light it on fire, which means I can't carry the torch in here. So who can carry light? Who lights things up, I guess? Uh, your patchwork stuff. Or slap patch or whatever it is. Hmm. It 
issue is... That's probably the last trial. I don't see anyone who can, like... Carry a fire. The panda, obviously. That's just a dude in a panda suit. You can see the zipper. Uh, you look unique. Bucket head. Head's too small for one of my weighty buckets. Okay, well. As funny as that is, I don't see how it's gonna light up the dark. Uh, the zipper. I might be able to use the fishing hook to, like, pull the zipper down. Is my immediate thought. Nah, okay. Worth a try, though. Hmm. Am I not getting something with this fire? Like, I don't know, maybe the dude in the, uh... Maybe this guy can carry the fire? Nothing here for me to carry. And no. This, maybe? No. I don't get it. There's matches everywhere. It Clearly, they want me to do something with the fire, but... I have no... The lantern? your game. I have no fish to sell. I'm a bit of a chuck simple and can't resist the salty bite of a well-canned fish. Here my intestines are paying the price. Perhaps a well-placed bash would dislodge that which ails me. Somebody had a bash move. Alright, fuck it. Hey, we're still not going to find out how to light fires. I'm about to be Gumps o' the Sea. Oh, man, I hope a seagull doesn't come and eat me. That would be the worst. You fool. Alright, well that was it. I guess birds are fine to get in. I snuck up on the house. Easy. Screw whatever the torch mechanic is. We'll never learn. Even though I'll have to for all the achievements. Fishy swallow. So I assume the last one is this way. Did you say anything? Talked to talk to Curious, or no, find our Curious Little Fishing Village Joy. Okay, yeah, sure. Do, 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 do. Got anything to say? Well, I hope to find your liking. Welcome to our town. Yeah, I don't know how this fire thing is supposed to work at all. Are you here to prove your worth? Yes. This is an interesting place. What the hell? They're possessed. Well, there's the can of tuna or whatever it is. Get past the ghouls. There are six of them? Jesus Christ. I guess immediately I want to see what hidden runes might be around here. Uh, what say you? Uh, it's like a... A dude with a thing on his head creates a circle of protection against the ghouls, is what I'm seeing. So this guy, but what do I put on his head? You're also unique. I'd like the birdcage, man. Yoink. Betty Bufflehead. Oh, they're also like a unique guy over this way. Oh, you're a big one. A big, uh, big rune. Oh, yeah, this guy. Oh, maybe it's the cheese. Maybe it's our cheesemonger here. Stilton Red Sticks. 
Yeah, you. I'm tossing cheese, baby. No, no one likes cheese, right? Yeah, they hate this cheese. Get the hell out of here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm the stinky cheese man, baby. Yes. Be gone from this place, ghoul. Oh, God. No, cheese. Uh, how do I... Hmm. I need to get down there. Oh, God, that was a mistake. Oh, he was brutally murdered. I was able to pull you from the ruins before they transformed you. Well, that was convenient. Okay, so the cheese works. But, like... Where do I go from there? Oh, I bet up here would tell me, right? But if I went up here, got like the rune guy. Oh wait, I have do it. Well no. Oh oh I see. Duh. Fucking blind over here. Cheese! Gotta gotta narrow the gap here. Yeah. Have some Limburger. Hey guys, how's it going? Father says fishing is our last best hope for hobo economic independence. The town's abuzz with the coming of a king. Hey assholes, say cheese. <laughs> Zombies, you're a zombie. How do I get this gate open? Is the, oh, up there. Fair enough. Easy enough. Who knew all we needed was a guy with some cheese to get past this trial? I mean, the other one was beaten by a seagull and gravity, so. Ah, you bastards. <laughs> it just shrug. Like, ah, well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> All right. Lax bla last blacksmith gossip. And he's got fire on his head, but I don't think he's gonna... He's not short enough to help me head cheese. Yeah, the, the obvious one. Go back to the castle and use three hobo blacksmiths to gain entry. I certainly will. Yeah, I... I need to figure out how this fire mechanic works, because... If there's a guy explaining it at the beginning of this DLC, I am not seeing it. Whoops. But... Like, they so obviously want me to do something with fire in multiple places, and I just have nothing. So, uh, rip that. I guess I could always just use the hint system, eh? Especially now that I've been there, done that. Douse! Wally Waterbelly! Okay, so he can put fires out. Kind of the opposite of what we want done, actually. Pliny Pan Pounder. Okay. Also not really helpful. And Floyd Fire Breather. Well, that's all well and good. But again, I need to be tiny in carrying fire. By Boxcar's Brown Beard, a blacksmith of old. Only you and your fellow blacksmiths can open the way to the forging room. Each of you must stand on your ruin to activate the gate. Please do let me know if you need help remember reading the runes of old. I'm not sure how much reading and writing a blacksmith education entails. Uh, yeah, I got nothing for this, so, uh, by all means, what do we got? Fire, water, and pan. Got it. All right, so, 
Your pan, you can stand right there. Your water, you stand right... Oh, well, what am I doing? Ah, uh, fire. Pan. And water, there we go. easy. Yes, well, the DLC is more than just, you know. Uh, is this pan? I mean, it's the right size for his butt. Oh, I meant to. There's no hot metal for me to douse. Okay. Uh, and what's your issue? crown must be hot before I can reforge it. But I stood here and cooked. Oh, I see. I didn't do it right enough, I guess. There we go. And lastly... <laughs> it's a can of tuna. <laughs> That's kind of funny. That's pretty funny. The boy who wouldn't be king. Is that the level? That's the level. I got plenty of time to go back and find the other solutions. It has been foretold. Please, I must hold the crown. I mean, they gave you plenty of challenges, so. Five dollars. Well, it's free now, but back then, I guess that's worth a five dollar DLC. The crown has been restored to its ancient glory. The hobo nation has its king! <laughs> that's a little me, but I can't wear that. Look at how big it is. I'm, I'm so small. You must. Your people need you, my liege. No, you don't understand. I don't think the crown will stay on my head. It's much too big. Great boxcars! The crown has been reforged! Well met, Charlie! Lovely. Please, sir, avert your eyes when speaking to the king! Boy, they, I am immediately abusing this power. King Charlie, but I am the inheritor of the throne of Hobo. I, I don't want it, and it was the boy whose valor restored the crown. It's for him to decide. It literally doesn't fit me, so. It would be an honor to be king of such fine people. But, I'm sensing a however, but I am not worthy. It is Rufus Riken who can lead his people to a better life. Also, the crown fits him, so... It's time for the celebratory tuna to rain from the sky like a salty monsoon. To the cannery! <laughs> and they carry him off. Well. Also, I don't really like beans and sardines. <laughs> yeah, that's a deal breaker, I guess. Wow, it really was just another level, huh? Yeah! Hail to the king! That, that was that. Complete the Hobo King adventure. Alright. Let's grab these, uh... Aw, oh, they won't let me... Mm. These don't count as unique characters that I can hop inside? Okay, I guess not. Uh, right, okay, let's do the other challenges then. <laughs> the foam finger. I do love the foam finger. Excellent touch. All right, first and foremost. Let's pop over this way. I'd also love to get the uh, the other unique 
What are the unique, uh... We're missing six unique ones. One's the panda, we know that. No idea about the others, but, you know, I can just run around spamming the, uh... Well, this is probably one of them. And the knight. Okay, so that's like three. Oh, and the, the dog and the specific birds. That's five right there. Not terribly difficult now that uh, I stop and think about it. But anyway, uh, what are we doing here? Right, that's the knight. That doesn't... I don't know how to get to the knight is the problem. It seems I need to be up there in order to get back there, but unless I can land on the head of one of these guys and have him carry me there, I just don't see that happening. And Lord knows I don't know how to do that. Is this guy anyone in particular? <laughs> Other than a Monty Python reference with his coconuts, I assume? Not that I mind a Monty Python reference. Yeah! Tristam Tugboy! The horse trot. Does that get the knight going in anyway? No. No, it's not. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to use the knight. That's my main problem. Use a dock worker to place a child on the pallets. Oh. So, can I pick you up? Put me down. Oh, I can. Then I hop, hop. Really was that easy, huh? All right, well, I guess that's on me for not trying that. Uh, oh. Charlie, please. There we go. Suit of armor. Uh, joust. All right, let's talk to her first. Hello. A knight of old, I have nothing for you. What? What do you mean? I'm focused on up and coming knights. I'd like to get in on the ground floor. You've got a great look though. What the, I don't know where this guy is. The dude with a shield and, oh, is that the, is that the dude with the coconuts? I, is that this guy? Hold on. He's got the cape. Hello. You'd be the true knight, but something is missing. What's missing? I know, it's your head. It's exposed. Oh my god, I need to. A true knight of the road never presents his head. I gotta get the bucket on this guy's head? That's involved. Credit where it's due. Where's the bucket guy? There we go. Jesus. Hello. You are just as I dreamed. Huzzah! Grip of the mighty? Oh, is this just gonna open up the... Can I just do this? Yeah, fuck, I can just rip it open. Hell yeah. Let's go. And, uh, did the knight return? He did return, you son of a bitch. All right, so that was a little roundabout, but hey, let's just get the knight back real quick and we'll be fine. Uh, there it is. A little, little specific, though. Out of my way. Oh. Split dolls by jousting them. Are they going to be... Okay, they're fine. <laughs> uh, I should do that before... Uh, I can't hit the tiny ones. I should do that prior to this because... Otherwise, it's going to put the suit of armor back and I don't want to get it again. I guess the madam, by the way, isn't one of the... Uh... Oh, the guy with the birdcage doesn't, uh, he's not having it. I can't split him for whatever reason. Charge! One. Two. 
one more. There we go. Now then, let's just wrap this up. All right. That lore you out in any chance? Nope. I need someone with discerning gaze. Are you spinning the wheel tonight? Yeah. Like I said, I'm just wrapping up challenges at this point. Uh, yeah, no, she's not. She's unobtainable, I guess. Guy with the bird cage is not unique in any way. At this point, I'm just, you know, filling for the extra 45 minutes here. Hmm... Yeah, I still don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do for the light. Use this guy to... Wait a minute. Oh, oh, that's the blacksmiths. Guess I could use their fire, but, you know. What do these runes say? Yeah, nothing. Awesome. So, if I get this guy's fire... that lit anything up? No, it's too dark to... Mm. That's extremely annoying. Well, fire is involved with this one, so it's definitely going to have to explain to me how the hell fire works at this point. Are you unique enough that I can... Nah, you can't be absorbed. I already have you. Uh, righto. So... Uh, right. The retired can read the scroll. What now? Are you retired, sir? Hey, what can I do for you? I'm here on a picnic, but something maybe done in a best can of corn. Might be out in that cave. It's too dark to go in. Great. Now well, you can get Mr. Whisks out of there without going in there yourself. Uh... I throw a Molotov in there. Is that right? Am I close? Arrange any three in the proper place and it will stand no more. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, do they mean in here? God's sakes! Oh, this scroll. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. There's a scroll on the ground. We need... A guy here. A guy here. And a guy here. Ah! Look at that. We're in, baby. All right, now, enough of this cryptic bullshit. The game has to tell me how fire works at this point. Or apparently, yeah, it has to. <laughs> it's run out of ways to avoid it. The one who can see is hidden in the cave. Uh-huh, great. So... Couple more seconds. Smoke them out. God damn it. Is it really just smoking them out? That's mm. the opposite of light, by the way. The op well, fire produces smoke, but you know what smoke doesn't produce? Light. Oh, it's a raccoon. They put my wife in the cave. Can he see in the dark? Is that where we're going with this? Ah, he can. Enter all raccoon burrows. There's another one right here, I think. Ah, and that just lets me skip past that. Well, there we go.
smoke out the bandit. Ah, uh, clever. Anyway, let's grab the raccoon real quick. <gasps> the furry friends. No doubt a hijink getting all the furry friends. Which means there's probably one. Uh, aha! Uh, probably one in the uh, zombie area as well. Mr. Whiskers. Alright, cool. Down to the zombie area. I bet they won't bother an animal, right? Maybe? Possibly? Hopefully. That said, we need an animal here. I'd like to get one. There's six of these, so I'd like to get at least one more before I resort to looking at the hints. Because there's an awful lot of them. The last furry friend is not in the zombie area. Okay, so maybe the last furry friend is not here. But is in fact somewhere else. I'm sensing not. Oh, it's the panda, duh. Uh, no burrows close by. The bunny can bounce, right? Bunny bounce. Yeah. Huh? How about them apples? Best friends forever. It's still clearly a man in a panda suit, though. He's sniffing his ass. What the hell? That's some close friendship, I gotta say. And guy in a panda suit. Ah, but you know what? They acknowledge him as their own. Ah, oh, it's the furry guy from the Zeppelin. That's some troubling implications, I gotta be honest with you. Okay, well, that happened. I'll just be going then. To the zombie area. I still need... Uh, Unique people. None of whom are you. You might be unique just because of how fucking big you are. Oh, all right, yeah, cheese guy is unique. There's another unique guy over here. Oh, this dude. Oh, I already have you. I can cage something. A child! I don't see how that has helped me. It has, in fact, harmed the child. Can a caged child serve as bait against the zombies is the question. That's a little bit dark. Maybe I won't do that. Maybe I will. There's six answers. Uh, I don't see any way. Unless I can get a pallet guy to pick you up and throw you around. I'm not seeing how that's going to help me. Oh, well. Have the child! Ah! But they're distracted by the child. Do I now have all unique characters? Uh, no, I'm missing. There'd be an achievement for it otherwise. Yeah, they're absolutely devouring the small child. This is dark. I'll be honest, this is uh, super dark. It's okay, while they're distracted, I can grab another child to distract the next zombie horde.
Yoink. Oh. Yoink. Yes, freedom. That's where I'm carrying you. Oh, I guess I could have gone and gotten that one. Anyway, uh, yeah. dinner time. Yeah. You enjoy that, child. That's fucked. That's super fucked. Anyone unique here? Like a ghoul? Nah, I don't see anyone. I wonder who the last one is. I'll just have to wander around and find it, I guess. I'm guessing the child counts as a separate one? Versus the cheese man? Sure does. Jailed bait. Okay. Are we okay, Double Fine? That's... That's real close. <laughs> there, there's a thin line there that I'm not sure you should be walking around. I don't know if that's okay. <laughs> I did just sacrifice children, but also, come on, Double Fine. Really? <laughs> Let's just ignore that ever happened. Uh, yeah, those two unique ones. Let me check down by the docks, I guess, and back in the castle. See if anyone unique is hanging out there. Oh, wait, does this guy count as a different one now that he's no longer in uniform? No, okay. Frankly, good. Venue. Why are there zombies? Don't worry about it. None of these guys are unique, really? Not a one of them, huh? Well, I have to check the castle, and that's about it. Oh, maybe the fish market guy, because he hasn't done anything yet, right? This dude? Nope. Hmm. Oh, I bet the, um... I bet the stakes can distract the zombies. If I get the pallet guy to run out and grab a steak. Anyone in here? No one unique. Where the last one is. Well, either way, let me try the uh, the pallet guy with the uh, the steak, right? Bring a pallet men down this way. Oh, you might be unique. You look kind of unique, maybe. No. Grab the steak, you idiot. This load is much too heavy for me to carry. Hmm. I'll take one? Sorry, but there's no room for my meat upon your head. You simply haven't the headroom to carry my meat. I always stuff my meat into a space that is already occupied. Well, it's hardly occupied. Oh, do I just need to... I do recall where the last unique is, uh, and the eerie view thing will not help. Uh, would you like me to tell you where it is? Uh, the fact that the eerie view doesn't help is a little annoying. Can just any old jackass take the meat? But, like... Yeah. Okay. Uh... Yeah, you should go ahead and tell me. Whilst I distract the zombies with this meat. Oh, boy. Uh, fucking see you later. Oh, wow, really? That didn't work? 
Oh, maybe the rotting meat, like, disgusted them. I played that entirely wrong, maybe. Oh, yeah, they're ignoring the guy with the rotting meat in his head. Who'd have thought? Yeah. Oh, I blend in. They think I'm one of them. Oh, it's brilliant. And way better than sacrificing children. Although not as funny. All right, well, for the last three, I'll just look at the... The guides. Uh, you will need uh, to use the fish ability on the dock where you got the knife. Oh. Oh, that child, that's one of the children I left in here. Well, she's one of them now, so. Yep, scent good. Uh, smelling good, yes. You dang fools. I wasn't one of you at all. I was just a guy with stinky meat on his head. Now who looks dumb? The Artful Dodger. All right, little fish boy. Taking a fish. Going to the docks with you, and then we're going to see what these other three are. At which point, I will probably call it there. I'll do the hijinks on my own, just for all the achievements. But, uh, yeah, we'll spin the wheel after this. Okay. Out into the fish. Or the water. What the hell? Oh, is it Hans again? You fuck. Deep Sea Hans. You silly son of a son. Oh my god. Holy shit. Hey, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and try this on the, uh, the zombies. Because, like, he has an actual attack. I guess this guy with his bindle could maybe bash them away. That seems like it'd be much harder, though. Then, you know, Fish Massacre. Yeah, jeez. It's like a finishing move in a fighting game. Hey, what's up? It's me. Get fucking amongst it. I'm a menace to society. God damn. Oh, maybe they want me, like... Maybe they want, like, the knights to be the other ones. Like, the guy, the knight in armor might be able to get past zombies, right? Also, there's these guys that are down here with no explanation. No idea why. Hans is out for blood. Yeah, he's sick of getting pushed around. He's out for revenge from the children I left behind. Hey, so what was more brutal? A man being ripped apart limb from limb by orphans and possibly devoured in a pit? Or whatever Hans has got going on? Or me leaving children to die in the pit full of zombies. Goulash. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, okay, yeah, so can I get a guy with a bindle? And does he just, you know, whack the zombies? Leaving children to die? Yeah, I mean, that was pretty brutal. That was, uh, super harsh. Here's Bindle Man. I guess we'll see if Bindle Bash can carry us through this. Certainly not. Okay. <laughs> Alright, yeah. The only other one I can think of is the armor, but just in case, I walk all the way over there and get it again. Those who smell like death make fast bedfellows. I already did that. What? 
Unless they want me to somehow do it again. Is there a really stinky guy? Oh, wait a minute. No, that wouldn't make sense. There is that fish. Uh, that's out over this way. That, like, the guy has to upchuck after you bash him. But I don't know if that's... I already... I mean, I'll give it a whirl, but I doubt it. He already upchucked him. That's on me. I think I gave you the wrong one uh, just for dodging. Uh, and the one you got there was Artful Dodger. I think he gave you the wrong one. There is one for just dodging. and the one. You oh. Really? Oh, do you know why I bet that is? I bet that's because I went in with meat on my head and then leapt out of my body because I thought I was leaving him for dead. And then I died and reset, and then I ran in with nothing, and it tracked when I ran in rather than how I actually finished. Which, honestly, the one for just dodging sounds like it'd be a pain in the ass, so I'm glad that I did that. Yeah, right? It's different this time. Don't worry. Excuse me. Uh, pardon me. Get the fuck out of my way. What are we doing? Thank you. And I can read the runes here now. Oh wow, it tells you, yeah. Children in cages. It gives you hints. Uh, got to step away and get a new battery for your car. Catch the end of the VOD. I mean... All you'll really see is the, uh, the last challenge or two here. Just the last challenge, really, in spinning of the wheel. Do you tell me anything? Nah, it's Hans. Which, I mean... As foretold in prophecy, Hans fucked them all up, but still. I wonder what we'll play for next Monday. Alright, so that one should be a new one. Yeah, Meathead. Interesting. That that's how that worked, I mean. Uh, Crown must be forged before you can proceed. Oh, the blacksmiths, I guess? I guess a guy shooting fire out of his head would stop ghouls, right? So, yeah, maybe. Because the, uh... Well, A, this guy, I think, was the one trapped out here. And B, uh, he he won't leave the area until after it's been uh, e-learning day at school tomorrow. Ah. I mean, the fire does keep them at bay, but it is... Uh... Ah, okay, that didn't help. I really thought the fire was keeping them bay. Two of three, when used together, can flame and then pound. Wait, so do I need to light him up? God, do you really want me to... Just tell me what to do, because I, I, I don't want it to be like... Use fire breath and quickly use pan on the fire blacksmith to split the ghouls. What? Oh. Yeah, that'd do it. Why didn't it get that guy? 
Ah, crap. Ah, crap. Spit your fire, you menace! Oh, my God. Well, that's just great. He's a ghoul now. Okay, can you just kill me and reset him? Tell me he's back there. I was gonna have to reload the damn area. That one sucks. I wish I could cheese that one. No, great, awesome. Fucking exactly what I needed. Why did you have to make it a complicated get a guy in there and then jump out situation? I mean, it does permanently kill them, it looks like, so that's something. Where is this guy? Where did I leave Madame Blacksmith? I have to quit and re reload the area just to get this guy back. Son of a bitch. Continue. Kingdom of Camelfoot restored. Hobo King crowned. Oh, wow. Crazy. I'm here. <laughs> Three of ten hijinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working on it. Huh. Honestly, I gotta say, e-learning days, uh, they sound like they suck. When I was a kid, it was a snow day, and that meant you didn't have school. Fucking, who came up with telework? Who decided, you know what we as a society need? The ability to still work even if we're at home. Fuck you. Shut up. Everyone likes days off. Why would you take that away from me? Seven. Oh, okay. That was just the one challenge. That's fine then. Oh boy. Seven at once. Snow days should be goddamn snow days. Shouldn't be any of this e-learning crap. Oh man, is it too dangerous for you to come to school? Better fucking bust out the laptops and learn on a shitty internet connection anyway. No! Take the day off. What's wrong with you? It used to be so simple and pure. It made so much sense. that not killing her? There we go. Jeez. Get smoked. It's interesting that they set it up so you need to beat the DLC in order to do all the challenges. God, just run in. It doesn't matter anymore. I totally did it. That counts, right? Because the blacksmiths. Yeah, right? That counts. That was the last challenge. Yeah. All right, all that's left are hijinks, which I can just sort out on my own. That was stacking, along with its DLC, uh, Lost Hobo King. Good fun. I liked it. It was cute. It was adorable. According to the bottom, I'm 85% done, which I don't think is accurate, but, you know. Hey, I'll 100% this game on my own time. It's time to spin the wheel. See what we will, in fact, be playing next Monday and Tuesday. 
and then I think another Monday and Tuesday after that, then it is the wrestling stream, and then it is the Yakuza takeover, baby. Spin the wheel. Hope you're all ready for infinite wealth, a thing I will not have because I'm busy streaming Yakuza. Sunday, Monday, not Monday, Tuesday. Right, you are. Sunday, Monday. My bad. Anyway. Let me... I want to say it's you. No, that's... God, Project 64 was the last time I used that. That I will not do. All right, the wheel. We have Grim, as in American Mies, Gr American McGee's Grim. Back to the Future, Pokemon Ranger, Shadow of Almia, Small Saga... Warrior Aware, the new Switch game, whatever it's called. Spider-Man on the PS4. Hat in Time, Talos Principle 2, Matt, Rat, Dead. Paranormal Sight, Bioshock, Outlast, Rhythm and Fever, I Am Alive, Pokemon Ultra Sun, War Moon. Wrestle Quest, Bug Snacks, the Uncharted Quadrilogy. If we get Dead Souls respin, yeah, I, I, if we get Dead Souls, I'm just kidding. We don't need more Yakuza before Yakuza. Uh, Masquerade, Song and Shadow, Sunset Overdrive, Pizza Tower, Killer 7, Kick Chameleon, Sims, Bustin' Out, Arts and Talos, Caps, Crashers, Kirby Canvas Curse 3, uh, also respin for Kirby, or for, um, Castle Crashers, because that is, um, that is Castle Crashers when Nathan is available and when he's not Kiwami 2, so. Uh, 30 Flights of Love, Pokemon Infinite Fusion, No More Heroes, Strap Strength Factory, New Sap Planet, Hands, Zombie Files, Another World, Tony Hawk's American Wasteland, Star Fox Assault, Randomized Minish Cap, Dead Souls, Crash Bandicoot, Spyro 3, Sleeping Dogs, Fan Edition, and Phoenix Wright 3. Wish there was a day the school waited for everyone to get to school and they were like, hey, the weather's looking bad later on this day. We're going to send you home early. Yeah, no, there were definitely early releases. I remember that in elementary school. Uh, you'd come in and it'd be like, no, nah, weather's not looking great this afternoon. A two-hour early release. I always liked those, but yeah, obviously a day off is better because you just get the day off. And then there's also two-hour delays. They're like, ah, we'll have this snow sorted in a couple hours. And come in later. <laughs> sure. That's not going to be done <laughs> before Yakuza. But hey, Pokemon Ultra Sun or Moon, I'll decide which one I'm playing, I guess. Uh, that probably almost certainly will not be done prior to Yakuza because there's only four streams and... Ultra Sun and Moon takes forever to get where the plot's going. It is tutorialized the hell out of it. Two RPGs. I'm playing Kingdom Hearts this and then Yakuza. But you know what? At least it's different. So yeah, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon. Looking forward to that. But that's for next Sunday. Till then, love you all. Be good people. Uh, go stack yourselves. <laughs> Have a great week. I'll see you Thursday.